Sun's out, froze out. Sun's out, froze out. Afro Sheen is back. Let your soul glow. Afro. Did you hear them notes? Okay, so this is stark white. Stark white. Shall that makes me super nervous, bro. Like, Khaleesi bend the knee, white. Khaleesi bend the knee, okay? Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. It is Key, AKA Natural Debutante, and today I am back with another video, another wash and go or wash and mm mm boo, no. So if you're into natural hair and a little, 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 little bit of beauty, then just go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell as well so you don't miss any of our uploads. We upload every Tuesday and Friday, but back to the scheduled program. So do y'all remember Afro Sheen? Do y'all remember Afro Sheen? So you have to remember Afro Sheen. <laughs> you have to remember Afro Sheen. It is like staple, like it is so legendary within like black hair, like it's, it's legendary within black hair, the brand or the company, I should say. So I was scrolling on Instagram, you know, talking to people. If you're not following me on Instagram, you need to be following because I give lots of tips on Instagram. A lot of the stuff that comes to YouTube is first on Instagram. I ask you questions and it comes to YouTube. So follow me on Instagram. It'll be up here or up here. My handle will be up here somewhere and in the description, but beside the point, beside the point, beside, beside the point, we have Afro Sheen is back, 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 back. So of course, you know I had to get these products. So I have two of their products. They had a whole line. There was like seven or eight of them, but I just knew I wasn't gonna use some of them. They have a, a leave-in, they had, what else did they have? Let's see, let's see all the stuff that they had because they had, a whole, a, girl, a whole bunch, okay? A whole, whole bunch. So they have a mousse, or no, a f texture flex, flexing foam, four in one leave in, a, a shine spray. They have curl cream. They have fro butter setting cream gel. So I only got, well, I got two of their products. So I wanted to do a wash and go with these because. From what I know of Afro Sheen, they were like, this is before my time, child. This is before my time. They came out like Afro Sheen was huge in like the 60s and 70s, if I'm correct. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I really wanted to try these products, and they're nearly known for like froze, like big froze and stuff. And like I do love a fro, you know, but um, I also don't like combing out a fro. So I wanted to see if I could still get a good wash and go with these. They didn't have a shampoo or a regular conditioner. So I just did an apple cider vinegar rinse on my hair, deep conditioned my hair, and now I'm gonna apply a leave-in and one of these, I don't know if I would use two. So one is a curl cream and then the other one is a cream gel. So I think I'm gonna apply a leave-in and then put on the cream gel on top. So this one says, this one defines and hydrates and this one leaves long lasting hold with no flakes. <laughs> So the ingredients on these are probably not the best <laughs> ingredients that I've ever seen in my life. I just don't like it when fragrance is like the third ingredient. Like if you're in the top five, like that's a problem for me because I really just need you to do what you're supposed to do. My hair, I don't need my hair to be smelling that good. Like I want my hair to smell good, but like it doesn't have to be the main factor as to why I buy your product. You know what I mean? Okay, so it has like a little thing about Afro Sheen. So Afro Sheen has a rich legacy of style, pride, and dignity. Whether froed out, blowed out, braided up, or twisted out, we hold the power in our crown. We are the innovators, change makers, and culture creators of today. We are the definition of black excellence. Hey, black excellence. By the way, watch the fight last night. Do you smoke? He killed it, loved it. Okay, so this one says it's good for wash and goes. This one just says that it's good for whatever. So you know what? <laughs> We're gonna use both. <laughs> We're gonna use both. We're gonna use both. That's what we're gonna do. This is gonna be a lot of product, but that's okay. 
So I have nothing in my hair, but my hair feels so good after doing that apple cider vinegar rinse. I just finished that and I'm going to use this as a leave-in. Okay, so this is dark white. Stark white. Stork. Like Khaleesi bend the knee. White. Khaleesi bend the knee. Okay. This is purple. It's such a pretty color. Oh my gosh. I love that color. They smell chemically. Yes, I said chemically. That's a word <laughs> for today. So I'm going to use this kinky curly knot today. Ooh, did you hear me in the notes? So I'm just gonna use some of this and put this on so we can get some moisture. Just because my hair is drier, is drying quickly because there's no moisture. I literally just got out the shower and can't do this. And I normally apply all my leave-ins in the shower, so that's that. But hair feels good, looks good, yeah. So I'm gonna apply this. First, I'm gonna apply the curl cream. So this is the curl cream, and this is what it looks like. It is white. That makes me super nervous for her. And then this is the setting cream gel, which is purplish, super light purple, which I like, actually, I like the color. So I'm just gonna apply this one first, start at the root and work it in. It says like you can use it on damp hair, or dry hair and I always make sure you get the ends of your hair because that's where needs the most TLC all right so you don't want to use too much of this because it's super white <laughs> it really makes me nervous but it does feel like it's hydrating my hair not the most hydrating but it does feel like it's hydrating my hair and as you can see it is definitely defining my curls which I really love yeah so I'm trying not to be heavy-handed with this but it's definitely defining my curls definitely have to follow this up with a gel though because I mean it'll work but will it last will it will it so I'm gonna use some of this gel wipe my hands off real quick so you can see how much I'm using. Okay. So this is how much I have. Just gonna put it right here at the roots and work it in the same way I normally do. So prayer hands and raking. Ooh, what is that? Did y'all hear that? That scared me. And this is the section after I applied the gel and the cream so my hair looks really good i'm not gonna say it doesn't look good but this gel doesn't feel like it's like it's not a heavy gel that like i'm used to even the natural gels that i have or the more natural gels like a flaxseed gel or the uncle funky's daughter you know i love that love that one it's not like one of those gels so the curl pattern is definitely there it looks really really good so I'm just gonna continue this throughout the rest of my hair before my hair completely dries out, okay? Before my hair dries out. And then if it does get too dry, I'm going to spray it with this Thirsty Curls by Uncle Funky's daughter. Okay, so I will be back at the end to show you what the wet results look like and then I'll sit under the dryer and show you what the final results look like. So stay tuned. Okay, so I just finished and 
and these are the wet results. So I was a little heavy handed in the back, but I learned, figured it out, and this is what we're looking like. So there's a couple of sections where it's like a little bit of white cast, but I'm hoping it'll work into the section. But these are the results. Hair looks good, definitely lots of fluff, lots of volume, which again, I don't mind. I've said that before, that is not a problem for me. This means that I'm probably gonna have to do my hair sooner, but that's okay. That's okay, that's okay. So these are the results. Curl pattern is definitely there. Yeah, I think it looks good. So I'm gonna go sit in another dryer and then I will be back to show you the final results. So stay tuned. All right, so I'm back and look at this hair. Look at this hair. So I'm happy with the results, but these aren't gonna last too long, but I am happy with the results. I did, I sat under the dryer, only took like 15 minutes, and then I did blow dry the roots like I do sometimes and to stretch it out a little bit more. And it gives it some more volume as well, but I really do like the way that it turned out. It's just not gonna last very long. So with that being said, the two products that we are reviewing today is the Afro Sheen Texture Setting Cream Gel and the Afro Sheen Crown Defining Curl Cream. So this curl cream is super, super white, like stark white, Khaleesi bend the knee white, okay? Like super white, as I said earlier. It says it has no sulfates, mineral oil, no parabens, but it doesn't have all of the best ingredients and the claims that they have, like it has flaxseed oil, coconut oil, and shea butter. Those are like lower on the list, so again, you're not getting too much of that. It's not, this is not extremely moisturizing. It does say that it's a non-greasy formula which, formula which hydrates and defines your kinks, and, kinks, coils, and curls. And it says, because of the blend of flaxseed, coconut oil, and shea butter, we have a perfect balance of hydration and definition. My hair was defined. For the most part, my hair was defined. But is it moisturizing? No, I would not say that this is moisturizing. Would I use it? Yes, I would, I would use this again, but I would use this with like, a, just a more moisturizing, I would use it just with a moisturizing leave-in. This is perfectly fine, it's just not, I mean, their claims that this is like hydrates, I, I don't agree with that. The next one is a texture setting cream gel, which again, I really like the color of this. I barely use any of these. I'm not sure, I don't remember how much I paid for these, but I'll still get a couple good uses out of them. Out of them. This is long lasting hold with no flakes. Long lasting, probably not. I'm just saying, look at my hair, it's kind of fluffy and it's kind of got some volume, so are these gonna stay for very long? Probably not, but it looks good and there's no flakes, so claim, it's probably true for the most part. So I love the results. This hair definitely gives me like Afro vibes, super voluminous, vol voluminous, voluminous, compared to like, my other hair, pro like my other products that I use, which are like super, super defining. But I really do like these results. I would use these two again. I would try to use the cream and for a wash and go or a braid, for a wash and go for a braid out or a twist out, which you know I rarely do. If you have tried any of these products, and if you have, if you've ever used Afro Sheen, like the original Afro Sheen, I'm about to find the original products because I really want to know what the original products were like. I don't remember, obviously. So I do want to see what the original products were like. If you've tried the original products, let me know like what was your favorite of the original products. And if you've tried these ones, let me know. Let me know which products you like as well. But thank you so much for watching this video. Please let me know if you like this voluminous, 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 volume, voluminous, voluminous. That's how you pronounce it, voluminous. Yes, if you like this fluffy wash and go and you wanna see more content like this, just go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell, hit that thumbs up so I know you want more content like this. And I will see you in the next one. Wake, meditate, and slay.